neurons and glia. Neurons are special cells that transmit signals, essentially nerve impulses. Glia are the supporting cells of neurons. The picture on the left is a picture of a neuron. The picture in the middle is glia. And the picture on the right is basically the glia on the neuron. Neurons vary in shape and size, but all neurons have a cell body, also known as a soma, dendrites, and an axon. Dendrites are seen on the left in the picture, and they receive signals from other neurons. And axons is the structure in the middle going to the right, and axon terminals on the right send signals to other neurons. So there's three main types of neurons. Motor neurons, which carry signals from the central nervous system to outer parts of the body, such as muscles and glands. So basically motor neurons control our movement. And sensory neurons kind of do the opposite. They carry signals from outer parts of the body to the central nervous system. And interneurons connect various neurons. So when we're talking about individual neurons, there's two types. The neuron is either excitatory or inhibitory. 80% of the neurons in our brain are excitatory, and they send signals to make neighboring neurons fire. Inhibitory neurons make up the other 20%, and they suppress and regulate activity of neighboring neurons in neural circuits. And just a side note, neural circuits contain both types of neurons, excitatory and inhibitory. And they also have different types of neurons within these circuits with different functions. Glia, as I mentioned before, are the support cells of neurons. And the ratio of neuron to glia is one to one, but varies in each neural circuit. There's four main types, astrocytes, microglia, ependymal cells, and oligodendrocytes. Astrocytes are named because of their star-like structure. Astrocytes regulate ion concentrations, provide neurons with nutrients, and regulate new connections between neurons. Microglia are also known as immune cells. They protect the brain from infections and other cellular damage and they also regulate the new connections. Ependymal cells make cerebrospinal fluid, which cushions the brain inside the skull. Oligodendrocytes wrap axons in myelin sheath in order to improve neuron function. So if you have access to the slide deck, you could click the link for the Kahoot. If not, go to the Kahoot website and search up types of neurons in glia mini review and the Kahoot should pop up there. If you've never played Kahoot, basically to play, have a host, or you can do it yourself, open the tab with the Kahoot on a device, and then on a separate tab or a separate device, you can enter the game pin on kahoot.it, and basically the questions and answer options will be on the host's device, and the corresponding answer options will be on your device. That's all.